Hello, welcome to another video. Um, so this one is a continuation of the unboxing that I did for this um, coat trail bag that I got from Vestia Collective. It's pre-loved and if you want to check that out, the link for the video is down below in the description box. So as you can see, it's really hot today. So I've got um, just like a vest top on and shorts. So this is a top handle bag, um, so I can hold it, just find the top handle, so it is quite dainty, it's not like a mini bag but I will say it's just a small bag and this is a lovely detail here, like a bow charm, bag charm with the tag, so this came with it um, and on my other bag um, it has it as well, so it came. It comes with the bag. Um, so if you do consider getting one, make sure that um, you get the bag charm with it. Um, unless, of course, um, it's been taken off for some reason or it's sort of damaged. But yeah, it should come with like this beautiful bow charm, which I think really makes it look nice. So now I'm just going to show you how it looks on with the strap. Um, I know this top doesn't quite go, or this outfit doesn't quite go with this, so I'll say this is more like an evening slash occasion bag, and what I've got on is very casual, so um, apologies about that. I will try to do a photo shoot with this bag um, with a more matching outfit. So here's the um, bag with the strap on, so as you can see here, it just clips onto the hooks here. Right, so, so this is on the um, first hole of the bag, so there are multiple holes here as you can see, so it's adjustable. Um, so this is on the top one, so it's on the shortest setting at the moment. So I will move it down uh, and show you how it looks on a lower setting. So this is what it looks like, um, one shoulder, um, so now cross body. So for reference I am 165 centimetres tall. So it is actually quite um, short crossbody on me. Uh, let me just adjust the camera a bit. Okay, yeah, so that's more better. So yeah, so this is quite short. So I will move that down for crossbody. Um, but on one shoulder, I think it's perfect as it is on the um, top bit here. So I'm just going to move this down to the uh, longest one now just so that you can get a sense of how it looks and then I'll try the middle hole as well just so that you know roughly how long or short this bag can be and see if it works for your height and also how you like to wear it um, on the different styles so this is what it looks like one shoulder and this is the longest setting so I think actually this is quite good. I know I did like it before on the short setting but I think this is quite nice on one shoulder. It's quite like casual. So cross body, yeah, so this is definitely better. So cross body, this is actually like on my hip here. So this is good. So I'll definitely... Um, keep it on this setting. Um, so now I'm just going to try it on the middle for you. So the first one was the uh, shortest setting and just now it was the longest so now I'm just going to put it about um, the middle so that you can see. So again for reference I am 165 centimetres. Okay, so now I've just done that. So this is the medium length. So one shoulder, this is fine, I'll say, for me. 
actually I'm not sure now um, I've liked it on the short setting I think this is nice and then the long setting was nice actually I think for one shoulder um, this is the best setting for my height so it's just yeah I'd say this is the right height but then for crossbody I think it would just be a little bit too short Yes, yeah, quite short. I quite like my crossbody is a little bit low down, so I feel that it's a bit awkward when it's a bit too high up. Um, particularly when I'm trying to like walk, it's kind of like weird the way it sits on my belly now. So I think for crossbody, for my height, the longer setting was the best. But for one shoulder, I think this is just the perfect medium length. So it's not too low, but not too high on me as well. Because obviously when you walk, you don't really want it to be um, too loose on your shoulder. It just sits on my shoulder nice. And of course, you can always have the strap on, but hold it like that. Or what I tend to do is just grab the top of this and hold it like that, just so that this is not trailing on the floor or hitting against something which can ruin the leather on the strap. So yeah, so I tend to um, either have the strap on like this when I'm going out if I know that I might need hands free at some point or um, I take it off if I know it's just like an evening out or I'm taking this to like an occasion like a birthday party or something I'll just take the strap off and just carry it like that. Of course you can put it in here but it's not a massive bag. Um, it's not a mini bag, but it's not a massive bag either. It's just like a nice small size bag. So if you do put the strap on, uh, if you do put the strap in here, then you're not going to have much room for the other items that you want. So if I put the strap in, it just fills in about like half of the room in the bag. Just. Yeah, you, it just takes up quite a lot of space in the bag. So I would say don't put it in the bag if you can. Unless, of course, you're just like putting in a phone, a lipstick, or card holder, you know, minimal items. And maybe you can put your strap in the bag. But obviously for storage, it would be best to put it on the bag if you're not having it on so that you don't lose the strap. Because it is quite hard to get replacement straps from Coach. Um, my friend uh, did break her strap um, for another bag. Not this bag, but like another style bag. And when we went to the Coach store together to try to get a um, replacement strap, they couldn't find like a match for her bag like the original strap um so of course she did get a replacement one for free but it just wasn't like the matching one so which it can be a shame because sometimes if like the hardware is different on the strap than to the bag it will look a bit weird so try to not lose your strap or break the strap i know i just said that you get a free replacement strap However, that could be at the discretion of the sales associate. Um, sometimes if you've bought a bag, say pre-loved like I have, and if anything happened to the strap, I don't think the coach store will give me another one because obviously I didn't buy it from them. So I imagine it's only for customers who have bought directly from a coach store. So it wouldn't have to be the same store that you bought the bag from, but you would have had to got it through a coach store, which means it's on the system that you got it from a coach store. So if... Just so that you know no one gets disappointed i just thought i'll add that information on for you thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my unboxing for my second coach bag that i got from vestia